And then, of course, Gary Kramer, Dr. Gary Kramer, who knows everything, <laughs> is back at 10 a.m. this morning with the miracle of water. Ooh. It is pretty miraculous. We're of literally course. floating on it. That still blows my mind that this massive ship filled with how many people we've got here, like five, almost like 5,000 people currently on board, guests and crew, and we are literally just floating just on water. Around. I, I mean, water is it. genuinely a force to be reckoned with. Absolutely. Like, you have to always respect the water. Very respectful of water. 100%. Absolutely. Well, I mean, we're like, well, aren't we like 66% water? 70. 70. Wow, 66, 70. <laughs> tomato, tomato. Sure. <laughs> now, at 2.45 in the afternoon, this is another one of those beat on the podium times we switched around. So it's going to be Edward III after abduction, brought to you by Crab Abduction? Island. Abduction? Ad abdication? Did Edward III get abducted or did he abdicate? <laughs> I think he was abdicated. Ah, okay. Sorry. <laughs> I was going to say, I think Chris has just changed history there. We are talking about Edward III of Edward England, III. right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, the one that. Oh, are you okay? Sorry, yeah. Oh, the ship moved, did yeah, it? Yeah. Wasn't, wasn't that a uh, bottle of champagne you had earlier? No, I didn't have any. Abdication. Edward III abdicated okay. because he wanted to marry a divorced lady. Yes. Um, uh, Wallace Simpson, I think her name was, who was an American lady, actually. Mm -hmm. uh, and of course, um, in the British royal family and the, the religion that they follow, they're not allowed to marry a divorced person. This so he had true. to abdicate. He, he did not take the throne. Mm -hmm. And that's why I went over to George V, mm -hmm. uh, who was, of course, Queen Elizabeth II's father. He died very young, unfortunately. Mm -hmm. Uh, Queen Elizabeth II took I over. Know, I know all she this. She did her 75. How many years did she do on the throne? Because this is also oh, why like Camilla is, gets to be the queen or whatever. This is nothing to do with Camilla, but a good, <laughs> good try there, my darling. No, because she Nothing is... to do with Camilla. <laughs> Isn't it because, or is it because Charles, never mind, I don't Charles know. Charles did then decide to marry Camilla, yes. Yeah, and she was and divorced. And therefore... She's been divorced too. Yes, yes. That's what I'm well, I think to the say. rules have changed. I don't know. But I'm saying that's what allowed him to get to do that, is because this happened, right? Is it though? Well, isn't Edward III the one that changed the rules? No, he abdicated. Okay, I don't know, it's your country. Right, yeah, you know, now you're making me doubt myself. But I think the only thing that we do know is it's not an abduction. Okay, it's <laughs> an abdication. I think it's an abdication. But our prompt says abduction, so let's just go with that. <laughs> Who abducted him? <laughs> I don't know. Wallace Simpson and the Americans? No. Wow. Anyways, it's like the Meghan Markle situation. <laughs> Nice. Craig Polant, Craig is going to be the we're one. We're coming to rescue you, Harry. He is we're coming. We're coming. I don't think he needs rescue. We'll get you back, Harry. Craig Polant will be the one to bring you the actual true facts in the club at 2.45 today.